Yeah, right? Yes. Deal? Boing. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast, Drupal Technology, Community and Business. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast, Drupal Technology, Community and Business. module for that? There, of course there is. Amy Parker and I are still at Acquia headquarters. And we still haven't unpacked. <laughs> and we've been talking about Acquia U. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about the people, the candidates, the people who are coming, the people who've gone through. Yep. And uh, so what kind of people have gone through Acquia U in the past? It's a pretty narrow, totally uniform kind of, no. They are not robots, <laughs> although they've built robots in the past, oh. and that's the fun part, because they can then go build me a robot when I want them to. So what kind of, what kind of people have gone through AcquiaU? So all, all different kinds of people. It's not a program where you're going to see a homogeneous set of people. They're not all college grads. They are people that are... There are people that have been working for 10 to 15 years. There are people that have been working three to four years. There are people that have been just exiting their master's program. So from the experience level, it's all different levels, all different ages, all different genders, although my preference is to really push uh, women in tech to come through the program. I think from a background perspective, we do have some technical requirements that we have. They have to have some programming language and experience in technology. But people gain that experience from a number of different places. So we look at people who were working at, they were the de facto web developer. Hey, you know how to turn a computer on, guess what? Go build us a website. And they find themselves now as the IT help desk website developer at a large college in a small department. So I think about, I think about Liz Mackey who came from a higher education background and she just happened to know more about computers than anybody else and became the person who migrated 12,000 Drupal, uh, 12,000 uh, Dreamweaver pages over to Drupal. I think about Matt Dooley who was the IT person and they told them that he wanted, they wanted uh, him to build a new website and so he went through this whole selection process and settled on Drupal because it was free because they also told him that it had to be cheap. I think about some of the incoming people for the next session and they're coming in. Some people are have been in technology for a really long time, but then there's another person who has been a research assistant on public health issues. And I think, and she's got some technology chops. I think it just really comes down to, what do you want to do next? And why is this the right opportunity for you right now? That's the mix. And so the homogeneous factor that ties them all together is they're really passionate about doing something different and, and contributing to something bigger than themselves. Right. At all ages, all backgrounds, all, backgrounds. all gender profiles, yes. and literally everything from army veteran yes. to ballerina. Yes. Right? Yep. Website um, users, industrial designers, um, people who have come from backgrounds that they were in the military and took a took a technology boot camp, video boot camp, and then were working as as a traveling IT support person for you know six weeks or sorry six months. And so it, the background doesn't matter. I mean, it matters. They have to be really interesting. They have to fit the profile of what we're looking for, which is is somebody who's going to take a chance and 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 really jump in and, and figure out what the next steps are. The, the, the profile that we look for is, is, again, around potential. And I've met a lot of really interesting people through this whole process. How does a candidate get considered for Acquia U? They, I read every resume that comes in. I look at every, every resume because you never know what you're going to find. We have hundreds of people expressing interest, whether it's through Twitter and following us on Twitter and finding us, I feel like making that connection is really important. So they get sorted through. There's some, some base level skills that we're looking for. They have to have some background in technology. So for this last program, we were looking for people with one to two 
years of programming experience or front-end development, HTML, CSS, they had to have some experience, but it could have been a college level project. It could have been a, an internship. This next session, we're looking for people who have experience with Linux, for example. So as we had talked about earlier, the roles that we're looking into are the DevOps people that will, that'll support the Drupal engine that will support and build out new products that sit on top of a Drupal site. So the, that profile changes, and what catches my eye is somebody that has a, you can see the pattern of growth within their resume. And I say that in a different way. I've, when I look at it, I've seen people's resumes that are career changers. And I look for things that they've done on their own. They've gone to, done a tech boot camp where they're taking online courses. They're really getting involved. It's really important to me that the people are not just have a singular focus on their career and a, and a title increase. Um, what are some standout characteristics that got people into Acquia U? Persistence. You know, and a good fit. The good fit is they're going to fit within the, the DNA of Acquia, which is really the ability to jump in and own it, that they have a self-starter personality, and that comes out, and I ask questions like, hey, tell me the last interesting project that you started. And if it's, it's not, it's not like it's a preference, but I've had people say to me, this is a great example of who didn't get into the program hey, tell me about the last technology that you learned. And he says, oh, well, I learned a little bit about Java. And I said, oh, what are you doing with it now? He's like, well, I really didn't pay attention that much in the class, so. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll call you. Yes. So I think, you know, when it, I don't want to say you know it when you see it, because that's not fair. And so what I tell people is, in order to stand out, be excited about, and be true. You know, show me your true self and tell me that you're interested, why you're interested, what's the difference between going through this tech program and say a different tech boot camp. There are a lot of great tech, you know, boot camps out there. There are also some ones that, you know, maybe not, they make bigger promises. So I want people that are realists as well. As well. I want people to know that they're not gonna come out of this program and be full stack developer. You know, realists are important because um, having different expectations than what I can offer is really gonna, it's a recipe for failure. But if people understand that they will have to work hard and that they've demonstrated in their past that they've worked really hard to get something that they really want, I think to me that's that's it. It's, it's technology skills are really important, but I also wanna see another side of their personality. Describe the ideal Acquia U candidate. Somebody who will bring me coffee. I think it's somebody who has some background in something innovative. So looking at one of the candidates that we had that we accepted in the program, he worked in industrial design. So he had created things, he had built things. I think people who are ideal candidates are also curious because here at Acquia and also in the Drupal community, a lot of Drupal is self-taught or collaborative taught and so you have to not wait around to have somebody hand you the answer you have to be curious to be able to go out and find it and the other side of that is curious enough to give it back too. can you contribute back to the community so it's not just all about the candidate and what they can get it's all about also I, I look into candidates who participate in in activities that might not be so self-focused so you look at an ideal candidate, they're curious, they're, they're, they're gonna jump in and, and learn it. They're also gonna find ways to participate in, oh, like it doesn't have to be an open source project, but are they volunteering? Are they opportunistic in giving what they know to someone else? And that to me is ideal. They also have to be fun, because we have a whole bunch of fun here. And they have to be able to roll with it because the curriculum is gonna flex. It's gonna change. They also have to be really confident and, that's not true, confident is not the right word. They have to be able to know when the right time to reach out to other people for help is. We move really fast here, so being able to show some vulnerability is the ideal person. So what I mean by that is uh, I, uh, I look for people who who know what the right balance is in terms of trying to figure it out themselves and then going asking 
for, for some help from somebody else. How do you define and measure the success of Acquia U? Definition of success, it's, you know, did we attract the right kinds of people? The definition of success is also the growth path that people have taken. Did I enlighten somebody's idea of what a career in Drupal is? Did they get themselves jobs? Did they convince a hiring manager that they were worth it? We have not yet enough longevity in the most recent iteration to look at uh, retention rates in, in the program. But for me, from a, from a longer term success metric, how long did they stay? Did they burn out? Did they say, gosh, I got myself into the, what the hell did I do? <laughs> You know, those are kind of those typical retention and HR success metrics. But I also look at it from, did I change somebody's perspective of Drupal? And I'll give you an example. So Carrie came into the program thinking she had a strong background in visual design. And she came in, she's like, I am going to become a front end developer. I, mean, I love theming. And through this whole process, she learned that she actually liked engineering so she took a job she got ex offered a job in the customer ready engineering team and now she's a customer success engineer helping customers come on to the Acquia platform and you know her learning doesn't stop either she's carrying around a Linux book to learn enough about Linux and that's the thing so learning never stops and success is that watching that happen that to me is success it's there's there are hard yeah. metrics which I know every program wants employment numbers, salary increases, promotions, time and role. But it's also, do they really want to be here? What are they doing to further their career here? So so we call the Acquia U participants, we call them the UBs around here. So what's the best feedback that you ever got from a UB? I think the best feedback was that the program changed his life in a very, very important way. It was talking about his previous job and he was very unhappy. He was considering leaving his job, but he couldn't because he had to support other people. He didn't see a way out of what he was doing. And the program for him is, is his next generation of life. He's, a, he's not what you would call a career changer. He was involved in web technologies before in some extent but it breathed new life into his, his ability to go forward and, and move forward. And I thought that really summarized what it's all about. I come from a nonprofit background. I used to work in a welfare to work program where I would help people transition off of welfare. And I would actually develop jobs. I would go to businesses and say, I've got this candidate, just been through a job training program, wanna hire him. And so I feel like that whole satisfaction of changing lives and people say hey you're not saving lives I'm like at some point I'm not gonna say that I am I'm I'm just helping people do what they need to do at the right time mm. and that's the cool thing so we've got Acquia U that is creating new Drupal talent giving people positive opportunities in their life that's got to be pretty satisfying it is it's why I came to Acquia because I wanted to change the world when I was a kid and this is my little way of helping to make the world a different place awesome hey thanks for talking about it and uh thanks so much for, for um, doing this it's great and it's great for drupal and you know as drupalists our ambition is actually to make the world a better place with our technology I, so yeah i mean the fact that i can help somebody get a job as a drupalist at a nonprofit. that's a huge they may actually save someone's life so you know well, and Sorry, they're paying their rent and yeah. feeding their kids and whatever yeah. else. That that's a that's a huge difference already. Yeah. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Thank you.